I mean, just the bizarreness of this whole thing is a little bit mind numbing because you've got like the most unlikely investor, AMC Theaters going in half, and then you've got like the godfather of precious metal mining investments, Eric Sprott, doing the other half. AMC Theaters makes a major investment in the gold mining sector, investing almost $28 million into Highcroft Mining. People, probably including you and me, were kind of shocked and surprised, even scoffed at the deal a little bit. But I think there's two positive factors, one of which most everybody's overlooking, that could turn this into a good bullish factor for the price of gold and silver and the gold and silver mining equities. Come on, let's go. I'll tell you more. <music> Welcome to Ron's Basement. You were probably as shocked and surprised as me and everybody else when this announcement came out that AMC Theaters was diversifying into the gold mining sector by investing $28 million into Highcroft Mining. Highcroft Mining was a struggling miner. Uh, they were having cash flow issues. Uh, they had been involved with Mudrick Capital in the past and it's a little foggy, but Mudrick was involved with AMC. Um, Mudrick, to switch gears, actually did some financings with AMC during that whole Reddit boom thing that happened a year ago. It's very complicated that Mudrick got burnt by shorting AMC stock. So there's a, a, a it's, it's complicated. I'll put it that way. I don't think anyone has a real clear picture on how this whole deal came together. But nonetheless, AMC Theaters invested $28 million into Highcroft Mining. Now, that alone uh, is interesting and uh, seemed shocking to most people, but here's a positive on it. Along with AMC investing $28 million, Eric Sprott invested an additional $28 million. So there was 56 million total half of which was from AMC, half of which was from Eric Sprott. Now, I mean, just the bizarreness of this whole thing is a little bit mind numbing because you've got like the most unlikely investor, AMC Theaters going in half, and then you've got like the godfather of precious metal mining investments, Eric Sprott doing the other half. I mean, Eric Sprott is like the most respected. He's the king of precious metals and precious metal mining investing. Uh, so you've got AMC and Eric Sprott. I, I'm, I'm not going to repeat it again. It just, it's, it's, it's a little bizarre. However, one of the positives is that Eric Sprott's involved. I mean, you can't argue. I mean, it's a lot of money and he, Eric went in with AMC and has funded Highcroft Mining. Now, the second positive that nobody's talking about, and I think this is super important, is that this deal has brought a lot of attention to Highcroft Mining. Uh, the stock had been trading about 100,000 shares per day. Lately, it's been trading over 100 million shares per day. So this deal is bringing some retail attention into the gold and silver precious metal mining sector. And hey, we can't argue with that. I mean, the sector has been Sentiment has been low, interest has been low, so low, I like to say it's like on my basement floor or even in the sub-basement. It's in, the, it's in the, the, the drain pipes that go underneath the basement floor, right? The poop pipe. I mean, so any attention from the retail crowd is a good thing, okay? And, and I think it's, well, either Rick Rule or Eric Sprott have said themselves, like, the amount of capital invested in the precious metal mining sector is so minuscule um, and on, a, on, a, on a pure nominal level, but also from a traditional uh, perspective, that you know any small marginal increase in investment capital coming in, retail interest, could have a major impact on the sector. Now, I'm not saying this is going to ignite a tidal wave, but it certainly doesn't hurt. And this is the second time that the Reddit army uh, has kind of been turned on to precious metals. 
Remember the silver squeeze just about one year ago? Well, Wall Street Silver now has almost 200,000 members. That brought a lot of people into the precious metals sector. And maybe this AMC Highcroft situation will bring another wave of investors into our sector. It can't hurt. Hey, I appreciate you watching. I appreciate you being here in Ron's basement. You're always welcome. I always try to give you my honest opinion about what's going on uh, with a focus on precious metals. If you'd like to subscribe, you can do that right here. And I will see you soon. Thanks for being here.